let's just take some enjoyment of the fact that we now have a pot stock bubble. I mean, of course we have a pot stock bubble. It's great. Second, how ridiculous is it that these have to be Canadian companies because Americans are so, we have these puritanical ideas. It's like five bars on every block, but no, marijuana, we can't have that. So this has to happen in Canada. They come in, but to talk about the bubble in particular, in general, if you believe this is the next alcohol industry, you probably can relatively easy come to the conclusion that at some point there's going to be a whole lot of market cap. It's a question of how, who's going to get it and how and how long it's going to take. Right now there are a handful of stocks. Investors have nowhere to put the money. Of course you're going to play in this environment. Then to throw cold water on Tilray in particular, at some point every company will trade at 20 to 25 times earnings. So with a $21 billion market cap this morning, you have to believe that in some reasonable time frame, Tilray will have a billion dollars of earnings. And because it had 28 million of revenue, you got a little bit of growing to do to get into right. that market cap. Does it remind you of the days where we would have you on? Of course it reminds me. It looks exactly the same. And it looks exactly the same as the cryptos last year when everyone's going about that and you have all these great stories. Well, crypto is the next big thing and you just don't understand and you've got to be in on it. So it's exactly the same. We see this pattern. But again, to add some justification, if pot becomes legal everywhere, it's likely to become a massive industry. A lot of market cap is going to be created through that. Right, but, but Steve, where are the barriers to entry here? I mean, marijuana itself, it, it's a crop, it's a commodity, right? I mean, is the intellectual property associated with um, certain uses of the, uh, the derivatives here, the derivative products of marijuana, is there that much profit to be exacted from that? Because once this becomes mainstream, assuming it does, uh, you know, every alcohol brand, I imagine, is going to jump into this, as well as many consumer packaged goods that aren't already jumping in. This is exactly right. And I think um, we are obviously in a bubble here. This is a borderline infinite multiple of, re you know, of revenue. Um, I think it's more a reflection of the fact that you know, it's, it's, we're correcting for 40 years of pent-up demand. and and the paucity of good companies. I think, um, you know, I think what you're going to see is a flight to quality, quite literally, um, in, in this market. And if there are only a, a couple of companies that are actually doing it by the book, uh, that's where the capital is going to go. Um, and I think that's where maybe the distinction to the crypto analogy breaks, because uh, crypto was exploding for lots of reasons a year ago, and there were actually a lot of projects getting funded that shouldn't have. Um, and, and there wasn't sort of uh, the same sort of constraints around number of companies or supply of companies into which to invest. But this is going to have to correct, uh, as, as Henry said, it kind of has to come back to be some rational multiple of, of earnings at some point. And, uh, you know, I'm sort of more than happy to sit on the sidelines and watch that happen. And Henry, to that point, I mean, I'm just going to use Tilray again as an example here. I mean, that stock move that we saw yesterday was on the news that the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration just signed off on the plan to import marijuana from Canada to the U.S. for medical research. It's not a product that's going to market. It's medical research. Are we still in, there are too early of innings to be even choosing winners right now? Well, we're in early innings, but it does seem like where we are headed is general pot legalization for everything at some point. So I don't think you have to stretch to say at some point this is going to be a big industry, but to Steve's yeah. point again, it's like, okay, so there are going to be hundreds of companies. It's a weed, for goodness sake. It couldn't be easier to grow. So there are going to be a lot of folks that. involved Some viewers do say how do you know? people will be able to grow their own. Not a problem. <laughs>